In this video I'm going to explain what are Trello power-ups and how you can use them to extend the functionality of your Trello boards and if you stick around to the end I've got an exciting bonus tip that not many people know about. Okay so here we are on our board as per usual. Um, you've just been going about your day using Trello as normal um, but you've reached a point where you really wish you could just do this one extra thing that Trello doesn't seem to be able to do straight out of the box. Now Trello is great, it can do loads um, from the start, but sometimes it, you just want it to do a little bit more. And the way to do this is through using something called Power Ups. Now these are essentially apps. Uh, they're just like if you were to add an app to your phone, what it's doing is extending the functionality, giving you a few more options and a bit more capability. Um, but it, yeah, it's really simple as that. All you've got to do is uh, enable these these apps or these power-ups um, and then set them up and you can get going with whatever you want to do. Okay, so you've got a couple of options to access power-ups. One is you can just head over to Google and type in Trello power-ups and you'll be straight away directed to the power-up directory. And from here, you can browse all the power-ups that are available. Before I do that, just to quickly show you, the other option is to head over to Show Menu. And under this section, you've got the power-ups listed. So these are all the ones I have enabled on this board currently. But if you want to add another power-up, just click here. And again, it's going to open up the power-up directory from actually within your Trello board. So we're still in Trello here. But they're both the same, so it doesn't really make too much difference, whatever you prefer. Now, there's a whole list of these. There's loads of different ones. They're categorized on the left-hand side here, which is pretty helpful if you're interested in a particular thing. Uh, you can search for them, which works really well. Um, and you can see which ones you have actually enabled by clicking on this tab. So some of them are made by Trello themselves and others are made by third parties. Um, such as ourselves, so or apps, we are a Trello power up provider and typically the ones made by Trello are going to be free so all of these ones here should be available just to add for free um, but then some of the other ones will need an additional payment on top of them and you'll get details of this when you open up one of the power ups themselves, the, one of these listings. So there's really no limit into what you can do with this. Um, I think, well, there will be a limit, but generally a lot of the things you could think of have already been created or someone's had the problem before you and a power up has been has been born to help you out. So just uh, have a look around, see what you see, what you can find, see what you like the look of. But really, I mean, from mirroring cards uh, across the boards to, uh, you know, time tracking, this is one of ours. Uh, full disclosure there, uh, a couple of the Trello ones here, so list, uh, list limits and custom fields. Google Drive, so there's a bunch of integrations. You can see Google, Slack, Dropbox is another one, uh, there's a few others. So yeah, have a look around, see what you think. Um, I'm sure you'll find something of interest. And to enable a power up, it's really easy. So all you would do is, I'll take time tracking for an example, open up the listing and here you get a few more details, a bit more information about the power up itself uh, and some pricing should be listed on here if you if it is a paid for power up and when you want to add this so all you do is click on add and add again I won't do this because I've actually got this one already on my board but and then it will just take you through a few steps and the, it should be enabled on your on your board. So some power-ups are for individual boards and others will be for your whole account, so all of your boards. Um, and again, some are for individual users and others can be for teams. So yeah, just worth looking like reading the details of each power-up and see what what the, the details are. Okay, so one common misconception actually that I just want to mention is that some people think when you uh, upgrade from the basic Trello pl plan 
um, to Trello business class say it's listed as having unlimited power-ups and this often people think of this as meaning that all power-ups are going to be free for them because they're paying for business class as it is but in actual fact you do still need to pay for the paid power-ups and um, that's partly because they're made a lot of them are made by third parties so um what it does mean though is when it says unlimited it's actually referring to the power up limits so if you're on the basic plan you're going to be limited to one power up per board whereas as you can see on the right here like i've got lots listed already so um generally one is is not enough like it would you know most people find that they would like more than that so that's what you're paying for when you upgrade from the basic plan to a higher tier so Trello Gold allows you to have three and then upwards from there, there's uh, Trello Business Class and Enterprise and they are both unlimited. There's talk of a new plan coming in soon called Trello Standard, but more information on that coming soon. I'll probably do a video on that at some point. So uh, yeah, make sure you hit subscribe on this channel if you want to be notified as to when that comes out. Right, so... The only other thing to mention is the bonus that I was referring to at the beginning of this video and thanks for sticking with us this far. I hope you found this interesting and your reward for that, let's say, is uh, I wanted to highlight bonus power-ups. So these are pretty new actually. This is something that has been rolled out quite recently, I think in the last few months really. But what it means is those limits that I was just referring to about the number of power-ups you can have on a board. They, these, all of these power-ups here listed will not contribute to those limits. So in theory, not all of these are free, but you could buy or install the free ones, all of these on, on every board you have, and it wouldn't count towards that limit. So you would have your, if you're on the basic plan, you could have your one power-up plus any of these that you want because they're not gonna contribute. And you can see that from the little bonus icon there. So yeah, um, again, to highlight one of ours, this one, Card Delete, is one of ours. Um, it's free and it's a bonus, so it's worth having a go with. Um, it just helps you to delete cards click, uh, quicker, so you, you get a button installed on your, on your card there. And you can just delete cards really easily. Helps you to tidy up uh, boards that are getting a little bit out of hand. Okay, everybody, um, that's it. That's the run through of what are Trello power ups. I hope that was useful. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please hit the like button on this video. It's a huge help for us and it really encourages me to keep putting out more videos like this. Uh, and likewise, even more importantly, if you could hit subscribe on the channel, that would be awesome. And we'll definitely be putting out more videos. So you'll be the first ones to know and the ones with the the newest and latest and greatest uh, Trello knowledge. So hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.